Well, hello there, this is Ogbert001, and I thought we'd do something a bit different today, so I'm going to do another quickie. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at Zombotron 2. It's a game I've been playing for a little bit, I thought it was fun, and I thought why not share it with you kind folks at home. Um, so let's take a look at it, let's play again. Um, we're going to have to select stage because I have been toying with it for a bit. Um, actually, in fact, we'll clear save data. I should have done that before, to be perfectly honest, but let's go from stage 1. There we go. Please wait, loading. So this is uh, sort of a, it's a futuristic zombie shooting game that I thought was fun and you might want to check out if you're bored and have a spare 10 minutes because that's what these flash games are great for. So as you can see we have um, this, this chap here who seems to be doing a grand job of killing things. I'm not controlling it at the moment. This is a cutscene in a flash game. I know, crazy. I must be on pot, but anyway. As you can see, he's doing a, a probably a better job than I'll be doing, but he's, he's going around, doing a good job, and now I've just crushed him and killed him. So this is our character. Um, what the hell? Base over, do you hear me? Shh! I knew that... I knew this can couldn't fly far. I should get out of here. So yes, indeed, let's get the hell out of here, because this can can't fly far, so it's your WASD movement, and where you aim is controlled with the mouse, and you can get headshots, and there are also various parts of the environment that are destructible like that, and I like the physics engine, it's quite nice. You can use the physics engine to eliminate your foes as well. All kinds of crazy. You can get headshots, but I was obviously not proficient enough, and waste ammo. But here's what I mean, you see these guys down here? Uh, I didn't get to kill the second guy, though. Although he's going to blow himself up, which will be all kinds of hilarious, so I'm not going to jump down and it's uh, got various things like that that make the game more interesting. Although I want to be quick here, because ah, sh no, I don't want to destroy the, those barrels for a reason, which I will show you, because it does things like this. All of this will be destroyed if I blow these barrels up, and it's what I need to do to get past. However, I wouldn't be able to get up here, which is why I took the hits. But anyway, uh, you can use money to buy various upgrades and guns and shit. Uh, which we we could use so we're going to open up this and we get ammo and shit and we also get a health pack So it was all worth it in the end. I swear folks. I swear So we're also going to hopefully take a few shots at this and blow the way forward open I'm also going to wait here so I don't get blown up by that evil barrel But the best part of this game is the gore and the spectacle and makes of all of it I'm gonna blow the fuckers head off bitch stay on the ground <laughs> Oh, This game is beautiful as we eviscerate our foes with a gun of Pain and awesome pain. Loading stage two. Caching. So yes, it's caching. Your progress is saved. Thank you. I would. I wouldn't like to lose this progress. No, bit higher. Bit lower. There we go. Uh, in fact, what was the point in trying to get headshot? But as you can see, we've got one bullet left in our clip. But we can reload by pressing R, and he'll do a little reload animation. Let's hop over all of this crap, and we'll open up another chest, which is fun. So we'll all of course try to use the physics engine to its full potential and see if we can't knock this off and kill someone. No, I think we failed at killing someone with it. I don't know, maybe we did. Nope, we failed. Ah! He wants to eat my face off, but luckily we get one good headshot which kills him. And uh, we got a kill down there without even having to do anything because they have crazy insane exploding zombies who want to eat my face and go Om nom 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 nom, I'ma fuck you up. There we go, let's blow the way forward and fuck shit up. Activate the elev elevator. Oh no, he's after me, he wants my face. No face for you, your brains are now over the floor. So let's go ahead and uh, see if things are up here. It's got some platforming elements occasionally where you jump around and shit, but we're not going to shoot at that just yet, because if we go this way, we can get a knifey knife and another weapon. I know, right? So if we shoot up here, uh, we get another weapon. There we go, and you can uh, switch weapon with Q or the mouse wheel. I'm going to use Q because I don't want to fuck up everything. Because my computer gets funny when I try to use the mouse wheel at the moment. But uh, it's neither here nor there. Anyway, let's move onwards. Um, the knife is good if you don't want to waste ammo, but luckily you get plenty of ammo for the pistol. I wouldn't recommend the knife that much, although I think, if I recall correctly, it can one-hit the other. No, it can't. But it, he didn't hit us anyway, so it's all good. It's all grand. We'll swap back to the handgun. And hopefully things won't get too hectic down here. There we go. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, you could easily have got fucked up there, but luckily my pro MLG armor guard skills were uh, enough to save me from almost certain death. There's nothing that way. There might be secrets, actually. Let's check for secrets. I'ma find you secrets. I'm the Zombatron. I don't even know what a Zombatron is, but fucking hell. 
Anyway, uh, if we have enough money, we can buy a Desert Eagle, but we only have $292. So instead, we will buy some ammo for that. We've got a health kit. So we'll just buy some more ammo for that. Glorious. And it deposits us some ammo, which it will give us post haste. There we go. Fantastic. So if we can time this correctly, we can, in fact, fuck one of these guys up. No, we can't, because apparently there's a small ledge that's stopping you from doing that. There we go. Things can get a bit hairy in this game. You don't actually have that much health and you can die very quickly, which is all kinds of hilarious. But I'd recommend this game. It's just a bit of fun and headshots are fucking awesome. I mean... Ah, oh, shit. There we go. Stupid, stupid zombies. Tricks are for me. There we go. I think everything's all good down here. Ah, yes. And, uh, now we're going to get another bit of story. To activate this function, you need a key. Okay, not story, just basic game mechanic explanation. And it's like, you should probably reload your gun. But yes, more physics puzzles. See? Kind of, well, hilarious physics puzzles. So let's, well, let's move onwards. And uh, he's going to probably try and kill us with a barrel. Oh, shit. See, I, I jumped over him using raw skill. There we go, fantastic. I think I'm going to get my knife out for this next bit because it could get a bit hairy because um, I don't want to use medicine. Oh, we've got two. I might as well use one. Fucking hell. That was probably a waste, but who cares. So we're going to press this button here. And there was a reason I got my knife out. There we go. Because it can get a bit... Fuck you. There we go. And, oh my god. Of course, I should have seen that coming. No. Bad cutscene. Sorry I didn't get to show you that. Ex Bullshit. Press spacebar to respawn. I'm calling bullshit on that, but anyway. <laughs> I got killed by the cutscene. You can't just put cutscenes around like that. I'm sorry, uh, we probably lost out on some story, but we have the key card at least. Um, there's not much I can do about that. That's the game basically going, fuck you, it's not perfect. It is just a game I found on Armour Games while I was fucking around, but... I don't know. Um, yeah, fucking Desert Eagle and some ammos. There we go. Um, no. There we go. There we go. There we go, we now have a Desert Eagle. Um, sorry about that. That's what I meant about why I didn't want to use the mouse wheel, which I completely forgot about, because it fucks up the shit. But hopefully that wasn't too bad. But we have a Desert Eagle now with seven shots, which is probably a horrible plan. And it doesn't even one-hit kill these guys. Fucking hell. That was probably terrible oversight on my part, but uh, it shouldn't be too bad. Ha! I stab you in the penis. <laughs> I have no idea why I said that, but we stabbed him indeed, and now he is dead. Let's stab him in the face. Oh, I cut his legs off. There we go. I can still fuck him up like a Polaroid picture. We're going to have to use the knife here, get a bit tactical. Luckily, I am pro with the knife. I'm not sure why I bought the Desert Eagle. Didn't have enough money to get a decent amount of ammo for it, but oh well. You live, you learn. You lies, you lie. I don't know what that means. But anyway, let's hit the switch. Okay. There we go. Let's, um... There we go. Luckily, they fucked them up as well, so we're not alone. There we go. There we go, see? I got pro skills. Well, they're not that pro, but I have some skills of some description. Ah! Dick move game. <laughs> um, yeah, the game can do things like that. Because it's allowed to, because it's a game. But yes, decided it, uh, I was not suitable for living. There we go. See, that was my more more pro skills and intuition that got me that key card. So we have a blue key card. We can get into blue zones. Are blue zones useful? We'll never know. <laughs> I'm sure we will find out about the blue zones, but not now. Anyway, cash. Oh my god, I want shotgun. <laughs> Oh my god, I want all every single insignificant part of my want is for that shotgun. There we go, uh, just jump. Jump, Jar Jar, jump. Oh god. Ow. Okay, I didn't get hurt. I don't know why I said ow. I feel no pain for my character. Those, those bastards are they're fucking shit up. They ain't taking no prisoners, but luckily they um don't deal with full damage as well as I do, which is kind of nice, to be honest. Yes, they are, they are not as intelligent and handsome and sexy as I am, which is uh, probably in, uh, impossible. No, and, oh my god, the jumping physics are a bit floaty at times, which can be irritating when you need to make a pixel-perfect jump. 
There we go. Fantastic. I made the pixel perfect jump. I collect 200 points. I do pass. Go. There we go. Now, ah, oh my god. It's a magical chest of magical adventure, happy times, and lesbian fun. Don't ask. Probably not a good idea to ask. There we go. Just, um, I'm sure that's fun. Let's just hop over that and pretend it doesn't exist. There we go. Fantastic. Um, these guys are coming for me. I don't want... There we go. Uh, he's going to explode as well, but you should be able to guess that just from the fact that he's a zombie with a grenade. See, he wanted to blow me up, but I was all like, lol, no. Okay, that, look, that looks bad. That's, uh, hmm, I wonder, I wonder. Can we blow up the bridge? I'm going to get on the right side of the bridge before I blow it up, but can we? There we go. It's tempting, but the ge the game will probably go, lol, no, you're not going down there, you punk-ass mofo. Let's, let's fuck him up. There we go. Luckily, I used my advanced tactics there. And by advanced tactics, I mean knife! There we go. They thought they could knife me, but I knife them first, because I have the ultimate knife. There we go. There we go. Deary me, ladies. Deary me. There we get some more monies and the zombies fight it out for ultimate destruction. So we're going to get back. And we got plenty of ammo for our uh, Desert Eagle, which is all kinds of painful fun. We can empty. Oh my god, he wants to eat my face. No, you do not get to eat my face. Eat bullet. Eat shit and die. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Eat shit and die. Oh, well, Ogma is fantastic at eating shit and dying. Ha 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 All kinds of hilarity. There we go. Oh, you have no helmet anymore, because they like to wear helmets, because they they, they go to the gap and they get cool clothes, and they like stickers, and I don't like this. Ow. Okay, I could go for some health, actually. Some health would be nice. Um, let's see, can we hit that? You know you want- Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, God, oh, we, we are doing fantastic. Oh, my- No, no! No. All of my nope. There we go. That, that could have ended horribly and horrifically violent end uh, to our stalwart hero. I don't know if he's a stalwart hero, but he's a hero of some description. We can't buy a health pack here. We can buy that. We can buy that. We can buy that. Fantastic. There we go. There we go. So we've got some armor and we've got a shotgun and I'm going to buy as much shotgun ammo here as I can. There we go. Shotgun ammo is best ammo, because shotgun ammo is probably more painful. No. Um. Yes. There. Is that a better knife? I have no idea. But, uh, whatever the case. Oh, God, all that shotgun ammo I bought goes each time. I have a bad feeling that I've been stupid. And I scrolled down again. I apologize. But, uh, no. If we swapped our shotgun, maybe. Is that a shell? That is not a shell. But we have two weapons we can use. Oh, no. <laughs> Luckily, they seem to be trying to kill each other, which is um, profitable for me, less profitable for them. So I think we'll call it a day after this level. This was just a quickie to show off the game and have some fun. And we might even die. No, we don't. I use my pro skills and survive. Fantastic. And because of that, because of that display of raw awesome, we are going to continue. There we go. I love the shotgun. Shotgun is, in any game, if you have a shotgun... It is just, it is just a beautiful weapon. I mean, look at it. I love it in Alien Swarm, I love the Vindicator. It's just, the shotgun is a classy weapon. It's a thinking man's weapon. And uh, I think we'll finish this level and call it a day. Well, shit. Uh, let's see, can we hop over? Yes, we can. There we go. See, I don't waste any ammo on that, because I am a thinking robot. And we've got a dude here. Got my shotgun ready just in case he tries to nibble. Hey, don't shoot me! You don't look like a zombie or a biobot. What are you? I can ask you the same question. Look, I don't care. Can you help me leave this planet? Probably. But in return, you should do me a favor. Let's see, what should I do? A, uh, a mere trifle. <laughs> oh, a mere trifle. 
help me to clean my storehouse out of spiders. Oh yes, kill, go into my basement and kill five rats. And you believe that's a mere trifle. You are armed and what taught to fight. Do it and I'll help you reach the space base. Ah, oh, sweet. Deal, where are your spiders? Do you see that door? Yay! Spiders. Find a way to leave this planet. Okay, because because there are spiders in the next level, I think we should do it. It's my duty as um um uh, a let's player to show you the fuck. <laughs> or not. If I there we go. This has been Ogma 001. And I'll show you the spiders and then we'll go. These don't look like spiders. If we don't see spiders like soon, then we're off. Alright, spiders are those walkers, I guess. I don't know, are they? I'm not sure. Can't remember. Shit. Let's move onwards. Um, luckily, I have raw skill, which is necessary for this game. You've got to have just raw talent to play. There we go. We've opened the door. We are successful. You collect 200 pounds and pass go. Well done. The shotgun is beautiful. Ah, uh, but grenades and bombs are not useful to me. In fact, they are very painful and are probably not very good to use. So we'll go ahead and grab some more coinage. There we go. I'm not sure why I need coinage. I'm probably never going to play this game again. I was just playing it to show you guys because I love you guys. I would rape all of you if I could. Sleep tight. <laughs> I'll come I'll come for you in the evening, my children. But until then, I I'm going to the top floor and ain't nobody going to stop me. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. The shotgun is just a sexy weapon. But yeah, I think they're spiders. This has been Ogma001. Thanks for watching.